So today I'm going to be chatting with David from Green Heat and he's got a system that takes DC power from your solar panels on the roof and converts that directly into a DC signal that can be fed into a special element that can be inserted into your hot water cylinder. This means that you can use DC power directly to heat your hot water. It also has an intelligent controller that will actually switch on the AC power when needed to top up that heating. And it can also set the time of day that you want to use it. So if you have cheaper power at certain times, it can come on at those times. Now there is a two year app available for this system. Um, and I've actually had a look at the Home Assistant website. And I believe that some clever people have actually created something that integrates into the API, which this company offers. So I'll leave a link in the description for you below. The other thing is David's been kind enough to offer all the Simon Says listeners a hundred dollars off this system. So if you do click on the link below, use my code Simon Says as a discount code if you decide to order it from him. Well, normally uh, you would have a thermal solar hot water system, which means that you would have a water panel outside on your north facing roof with plumbing going to your hot water cylinder and uh, with insulation on it and a small pump circulating water from your hot water cylinder to your panel and back when the sun is shining. Now with this new green heat system, um, we have PV panels, electric panels on the roof, uh, only two wires running down to your hot water cylinder. And at your hot water cylinder, it will go into this little box. And what we do at your existing cylinder is we would uh, replace your existing element with this AC-DC element. So this got two separated isolated circuits. So from this box that come from the solar directly onto your DC wires and then the AC on that side would go through the controller and it will only switch on when necessary. So for instance if you have a rainy day um, and you didn't achieve your set temperature yet it will automatically switch on say at 4 o'clock so that you have hot water at 6 o'clock. So just to understand will this fit into any existing hot water cylinder? Any existing hot water cylinder, yes. Um, some of the uh, hot water cylinders do need adapters, but we do have the adapters available to make it fit on all hot water cylinders. So, uh, yeah, even if it's 20 years old, even if it's a low pressure, uh, wet pack systems, well, uh, mains pressure systems, yeah, any hot water cylinder. Wow, that sounds amazing. So what sort of money can you save with a system like this, David? Well, with a family of four, it means that you would actually reheat around 200 liters of uh, water per day mm -hmm. from uh, 20 de degrees to 60 degrees, so 40 degrees increase. And that comes roughly to about uh, $190 to $100 per month. So in, um, on average, I would say about $1,000 per annum. Wow. at the current electrical price. And what is the price of the system, David? Well, all the hardware, including the solar panels on the roof, would be $3,000, GST included, and then installation will cost in the region uh, of, well, 800 to about 1400, depending on your kind of house. If you, for instance, have a double story house, and it's got tile roofs, it will be more expensive. If you just have a normal single story with a metal roof, it will probably be only $800 for a full install. Wow. So if you're talking about saving about $1,000 a month, you're literally between four and five no, years. Five, uh, per annum, not per month. Sorry, per <laughs> annum. Yes, yes, you're right there. So you're looking at literally paying the system off in four to five years. Now, what is the lifetime of the system? Um, the solar panels that sit outside on the roof that get all the sun and weather and all the elements, those come with a 25-year guarantee. Wow. Uh, all the rest of the equipment come with a two-year guarantee, but normally electrical stuff only get a one-year guarantee. But all of these equipment has been tested uh, for 50,000 cycles. 
at okay. a laboratory. Mm -hmm. So that would mean uh, the test, well, and it uh, still lasted after that time. And that's, if you work out, that's about 13, 14 years. Apart from that, your element over here uh, is 316 stainless steel. That's marine grade. Mm -hmm. And you only have to insert it once, drain your water once. If you ever have a problem with your element, uh, it's a waterless withdrawal. So you loosen these two screws on top, you pull out a cartridge, and you just push in a new cartridge without even switching off your water. Ah, oh, well, and this is your thermostat, is it? Yeah, this is the thermostat. We also have a different thermostat depending on your hot water cylinder. Mm. We have the, a flat one for the clip-on thermostats. Okay, and obviously the controller, you've got, you can control it directly from the panel, but I believe you told me the other day that you've got a, an app on the smartphone that you can use as well? Correct. Yes, uh, we work with uh, Tuya, Smart Life, Alexa, Google Nest, and a few others, uh, Samsung Smart Things, uh, where you actually can control and you can switch on your backup uh, element mm -hmm. and we'll show you there uh, on and off uh, by just saying, Alexa, switch on the hot water cylinder and then it will switch on. Oh, wow. And uh, you can also set timers mm. that it will only come on at certain times. And you can set it for different temperatures. You can see there 55 and 30, uh, 55 and 60. So you can say, well, in the mornings, I only want water at, well, 55 degrees Celsius at 6 o'clock. And this controller will make sure that you do have water at that time at that degree Celsius. And in the evenings, if you want a bath, you may want hotter water, then you want to set it to 60 degrees Celsius, which you can. Ah. So different times of the day, different thresholds. Also, during the day, at any time, if you need hot water, you can just come and press that button once. It will go on and it will switch off once it reaches reach its set temperature. And I believe you can buy this separately as well, is that right? Without That's doing correct. the solar side of things. Yes. So you can install this system just a controller on any standard hot water cylinder to just uh, make it a smart hot water cylinder and the cost of this is only 360 dollars oh, wow. for a full controller and this unit if you don't have wi-fi um it will you can also connect to uh, through bluetooth so it's either bluetooth or wi-fi and if it is on wi-fi it also goes onto the cloud oh, that you can okay. see it from anywhere so this is also the perfect solution for uh, batches. So if you uh, want to go to the batch, your batch this weekend, mm. you can uh, switch it on Friday morning, Friday night when you get to your hot water cylinder, you should have hot water. Uh, okay. Well, thank you very much. That's fascinating. I look forward to seeing how I can implement this in my own home someday. Thank you. Awesome. So <laughs> thank you.